In the realm of cinema, the distinctive allure of films where monsters replace spouses or partners lies in their ability to subvert the familiar foundations of human relationships, plunging characters and audiences into an unsettling realm of psychological turmoil. Unlike traditional horror narratives that focus solely on external threats, these films craft a unique blend of emotional and supernatural terror by intertwining the intimate dynamics of romantic bonds with the intrusion of monstrous entities. They exploit the vulnerabilities inherent in love and trust. This subgenre artfully dissects the fragility of human connections, shattering the illusion of safety within the confines of personal relationships. The distinction of these films also stems from their profound exploration of identity and transformation. These movies will leave you questioning on what truly defines an individual's need for affection, irrespective of who it comes from. Is it their appearance? their actions, or the intangible essence that forms their identity. The blurring of lines between the real and the monstrous serves as a reflection of our own fears and insecurities, challenging us to confront the lurking uncertainties that reside within us all. Moreover, this subgenre often delves into societal norms and gender roles, portraying how the transformation of a partner can symbolize a broader metamorphosis of societal expectations. In essence, these films transcend the conventional boundaries of horror, challenging our set notions of intimacy and humanity, whilst offering a thought-provoking and unnerving explanation of the human psyche when confronted with the uncanny, the inexplicable, and the terrifyingly unknown. From spine-tingling suspense to heart-wrenching drama, each of these films will definitely make your jaws drop. So, without wasting another second, let's explore a carefully curated list of our top 15 films that glorify otherworldly love. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Untamed, 2016. We are almost appalled at how severely underrated this piece of gem is. The Untamed delves into the intricate fabric of human relationships and the extent an individual would go to quench their desires. The plot primarily revolves around Alejandra, a discontented mother trapped in a loveless marriage with Angel. Their fractured union forms the backdrop of a captivating character study that unfolds within the tapestry of daily life. While punctuated by stretches of routine, the film's essence lies in its exploration of emotional turbulence and the unconventional connections that emerge. Despite its label as a sci-fi work, the film is rooted in the raw dynamics of a deteriorating marriage, which showcases exceptional acting, breathtaking cinematography, and a restrained yet impactful soundtrack that amplifies its artistic depth. Seeking solace from her suffocating life, Alejandra becomes entangled in a web of intrigue when she encounters Veronica, a woman who has been engaging in sexual encounters with a tentacled alien creature housed in a remote barn guarded by an old couple. This mysterious creature bestows both pleasure and destruction upon those who seek it, blurring the lines between desire and danger. As the narrative unfolds, we witness that despite his public aversion towards homosexuality, sexuality. Angel secretly has an affair with Fabian, Alejandra's brother, who becomes a catalyst for a chain of dramatic developments. One day, Veronica gets bitten on her stomach by her extraterrestrial lover who had never attacked her before. On her visit to the hospital, she is taken care of by Fabian, and they become friends. On the same day, Angel starts a fight with Fabian when the latter decides to end their forbidden relationship. So, when Fabian is taken by Veronica to the barn, everyone suspects Angel to be the main culprit behind Fabian ending up in the hospital after being found naked and assaulted on a field. Naturally, Angel is sent to jail while Alejandra cuts all ties with him. The film's plot intensifies when Veronica introduces Alejandra to the alien at the barn, and then after getting a taste of what this enigmatic creature could do, she keeps coming back, sometimes even leaving her children with the older couple while she gets intimate with the alien. Everything takes a darker turn when the creature's thirst for violence grows and it kills Veronica. As the film reaches its climax, the narrative takes an unexpected and chilling turn, leading to a fateful confrontation that forces Alejandra to reckon with her choices and the inexorable forces at play. The untamed delves into the psyche of its characters, unearthing primal desires and confronting societal norms. It traverses the fine line between fear and fascination, shedding light on the all-encompassing power of human sexuality. This unapologetic exploration leaves an indelible mark challenging conventional genre boundaries and offering a thought-provoking ode to film as an art form. What Lies Below, 
2020. This horror movie is so disturbing that you would probably want to pause to take a breather and understand the stretch of what is exactly happening. In What Lies Below, we witness 16-year-old Libby Wells returning from summer camp to her family's lakeside home and encountering a web of bizarre and disturbing events. Her mother, Michelle, a romance novelist, introduces Libby to John, her new boyfriend, who is an aquatic geneticist. John gifts a weird fertility symbol bracelet to Libby and talks about his cryptic work involving creatures adapting to evolving environments, setting an eerie tone. Later at night, Libby hears loud, sensual moaning noises while in the kitchen and runs back to her room, with John's presence heightening her unease as she pretends to be asleep. The following day, a centipede bite draws Libby closer to John, foreshadowing a darker connection. But as Michelle falls ill, her engagement to John exposes a sinister side tie to his work with parasites. Libby's physical changes take a disturbing turn when John's actions become uncomfortably intimate, trying to watch her shower or even cleaning her period blood with his own blood and touching her in the process. Seeking solace in her friend Marley, Libby's quest for answers unravels a mysterious lakeside encounter and a shocking revelation about Michelle's pregnancy. Libby's efforts to share her unsettling experiences are met with skepticism, pushing her to further investigate John's true nature. Libby's disturbing discoveries intensify as she uncovers unsettling symbols on her wrist and Michelle's involvement with a bizarre ritual in a chilling basement scene. She witnesses Michelle's horrifying birthing experience while being submerged inside a water tank. A harrowing confrontation with John ensues, and Libby finds herself trapped in a nightmarish basement, surrounded by a group of men, all looking like John. Unveiling a grotesque transformation, John forces Libby to consume a mysterious substance, thrusting her into a surreal reality, awakening in a row of water tanks alongside other women in a state of metamorphosis. Libby embraces a shocking revelation, her newfound ability to survive underwater. The film's eerie climax unveils an unconventional intimacy as Libby navigates a surreal and chilling existence, shattering the boundaries of reality. Possession, 1981. Possession defies subtlety with an unapologetic intensity that courses through every scene. It's a cinematic experience that cranks up emotions and interactions to an extreme level, leaving no room for complacency. Violence both physical and emotional, becomes a palpable presence, permeating every aspect of the film. Characters convulse with movements that mirror their inner turmoil, while dialogue becomes a visceral outpouring. Amid this chaos, the central metaphor emerges. The film's core is a reflection of divorce. When Mark returns home from this espionage mission to find Anna wanting a divorce, their interactions are marked by explosive arguments and violent outbursts, with every movement and dialogue exchange carrying an intense emotional weight. Struggling over custody of their son Bob, their fractured relationship worsens, mirroring the disintegration of their world. Anna's lover Heinrich instigates confrontations, further fracturing Mark's emotional state. Their clashes escalate into disturbing self-inflicted injuries, embodying their unraveling intimacy. Investigating Anna's secrets leads Mark to a second apartment where he finds dismembered body parts alongside a grotesque, tentacled creature who has driven Anna crazy. In a killing spree, she kills the P.I. whom Mark had hired to discover Anna's secret, who has been actually having sex with this alien. Apparently, they formed an unexplainable bond during her miscarriage. The narrative intensifies with Anna's erratic actions, resulting in violent deaths. The creature becomes a catalyst for destruction, culminating in a disturbing pattern of bloodshed. The climax ventures into surrealism as Anna's doppelganger emerges, eroding the boundary between reality and delusion. Amid police and personal turmoil, Mark and Anna meet a violent end, culminating in a barrage of bullets while we witness the creature transforming into Mark's doppelganger. The story's unsettling resolution centers on Bob, an innocent victim caught in a mystifying and distressing fate. As sirens blare and chaos reigns, the doppelganger's presence persists. Through Helen, who witnesses Bob's demise, the audience confronts the unsettling aftermath of unconventional intimacy decay, and brutality that transpired. The film's climax is a chaotic crescendo of violence and madness. It's a deliberate assault on the senses, aimed at evoking feelings rather than clear understanding. Symbolism and subtext intertwine to create a narrative that's both impenetrable and engaging. This approach may frustrate some, given the deliberately perplexing nature of the plot, but it's designed to immerse audiences in an emotional maelstrom. I Married a Monster from Outer Space, 1958. As cheesy as the title may sound, I Married a Monster from Outer Space surprises with a mix of laughs and a gripping storyline. The film starts lighthearted, but takes a more serious turn as it unfolds. Marge Farrell's marital bliss turns to concern 
as her husband Bill becomes distant and peculiar. She discovers a shocking truth that Bill has been replaced by an alien imposter. These extraterrestrials are taking over human bodies to save their dying race by mating with the women from Earth. While Marge faces skepticism from her town, who are being run down by aliens, her doctor comes to rescue and bands a posse of new fathers together to battle the invaders. The climax reveals a hidden spaceship and ends with a chilling showdown. Amidst the 50s B-movie vibe, the film delivers thoughtful themes and unexpected poignancy. The narrative, reminiscent of Invasion of the Body Snatchers, explores paranoia and deception. The alien creature, portrayed with eerie design, serves as a sinister metaphor for the erosion of trust and intimacy. The movie's wit shines through humorous lines and moments, while maintaining a riveting plot. I Married a Monster from Outer Space defies its campy title, offering a thrilling and surprisingly thought-provoking sci-fi experience for its time. With its compelling story and engaging twists, this mid-century gem remains a standout in the genre. Under the Skin, 2013 Under the Skin unfolds in a surreal and enigmatic manner, focusing on an otherworldly woman's interactions with men in Scotland. The film's opening introduces a motorcyclist who retrieves a seemingly lifeless woman from a field, taking her to a white room. Here, her appearance is taken over by another naked woman. The new entity, disguised as the original woman, embarks on a journey through various towns and cities in Scotland. The woman drives a van, engaging with unsuspecting men on the streets. She engages them in conversation, asking about their local connections, and then offering them a lift. Once lured, the men follow her to a dilapidated house, where they enter a dark, featureless space and begin to undress. Strangely, as they move closer to the woman, they sink into an abyss-like liquid without even realizing it. As the woman's encounters continue, the same pattern emerges. It should be noted that all her interactions remain detached and emotionless. However, a significant turning point occurs when she encounters a disfigured man in a rare display of tenderness. She spares him from the ominous fate that befalls the others. The narrative takes a shift as the woman heads to the Scottish Highlands, leaving her van behind. Here, she meets a man on a bus and forms a connection with him. Their relationship evolves over the course of a night, and the film briefly explores a more intimate and vulnerable side of her character. Meanwhile, the motorcyclist who retrieved her original body is in pursuit, suggesting a larger purpose or design behind her actions. The film culminates in a disturbing and symbolic sequence as the woman encounters a logger who becomes violent, leading to a chilling transformation. As she is assaulted, her outer layer of skin is torn away, revealing a black, featureless body underneath. This moment is a turning point in the film, exposing the woman's true nature and raising questions about her origin and purpose. Scarlett Johansson delivers a captivating performance, oscillating between danger and vulnerability. The cinematography adds to the film's unique feel, depicting both seductive and disturbing scenes. Under the Skin offers a thought-provoking experience, delving into the woman's enigma, her encounters with men, and the ultimate transformation she undergoes. Splice, 2009. The film begins by introducing us to Clive and Elsa, genetic scientists who work for the company Nerd. They are trying to create new hybrid organisms by splicing animal DNA together. They successfully create Fred and Ginger, vermiform creatures intended to mate. But Clive and Elsa have grander ambitions of creating a revolutionary human and secretly create a human-animal hybrid that they name Dren. As Dren grows at an alarming rate, the couple faces both scientific breakthroughs and ethical dilemmas. One of the fascinating aspects of the plot is the moral ambiguity surrounding Clive and Elsa's actions. The theme of playing God by manipulating DNA raises questions about the limits of scientific experimentation and the potential dangers of unchecked technological advancement. The character of Dren herself is a central focus of the plot. As she grows, Dren's appearance becomes increasingly increasingly complex and unsettling, reflecting her dual nature as both an experimental creature and a living being. Her accelerated development raises issues of identity, agency, and autonomy as she navigates a world she doesn't fully understand. When Elsa becomes attached to Dren, she moves her to an isolated farm where Dren's carnivorous tendencies and retractable wings emerge during adolescence, raising concerns. It's revealed that Dren's human DNA source is Elsa herself, changing the dynamics of the relationship. While Elsa forms a motherly bond with Dren, she becomes erratic and seduces Clive, which becomes increasingly disturbing. The film takes a dark turn when Dren's behavior becomes unpredictable and violent, as seen through her interactions with other characters revealing the potential dangers 
of genetic experimentation gone awry. As the plot unfolds, the tension escalates, leading to a climax where the consequences of Clive and Elsa's actions come crashing down. The final act of the film presents a harrowing and chaotic sequence that forces the characters to confront the fallout of their choices. Spring 2014 Spring is a unique and genre-defying film that follows Evan Russell, a young American man who travels to Italy after the death of his mother. There, he meets Louise who captures his attention. Their interactions are marked by an intriguing mixture of casual conversations and profound discussions, showcasing the natural chemistry between the two characters. However, as the story progresses, it becomes apparent that Louise is harboring a dark secret. After a night of intimacy, Evan witnesses Louise undergo a shocking and grotesque transformation into a monstrous creature. This revelation shatters Evan's perceptions of reality and tests the limits of his feelings for Louise. Despite the horror of her transformation, Evan's affection for her remains steadfast, as Louise eventually opens up to Evan about her true nature, revealing that she is a 2,000-year-old mutant who undergoes a metamorphic process every 20th spring. During this transformation, her body changes into different creatures, and she must become pregnant to temporarily halt the process. Evan's unconditional love for Louise is put to the test. When he learns the extent of her condition, Louise admits that she won't give up her immortality for anyone, including him. Despite this heartbreaking revelation, Evan is determined to make the most of the time they have together. He persuades Louise to spend her final 24 hours before her transformation with him. As the sunrise approaches, Evan pleads with Louise not to undergo her transformation, expressing his desire for her to remain by his side. Louise, however, explains that she has no control over the process and warns Evan of the potential danger he faces. In a climactic and visually stunning sequence, Louise's transformation is set to occur against the backdrop of Mount Vesuvius erupting. The tension builds as the audience awaits the inevitable and potentially horrifying metamorphosis. However, to everyone's surprise, Louise remains in her human form as the sun rises, defying expectations and offering a glimmer of hope for their unconventional relationship. The Astronaut's Wife, 1999 This movie follows the unsettling events that unfold after astronaut Spencer Armacost and his colleague Alex Streck embark on a space mission. During their mission, an explosion occurs, severing their communication with NASA. After a safe landing, both Spencer and Alex are hospitalized, with Spencer recovering quickly, while Alex tragically dies from what appears to be a stroke. Spencer soon leaves NASA and takes a job at a New York-based aerospace company, McLaren. As time passes, Spencer's wife Jillian begins to notice changes in his behavior. Despite his apparent recovery, Spencer becomes increasingly distant and aggressive. This leads Jillian to seek answers about the circumstances surrounding Alex's death. Jillian's suspicions are further heightened when she encounters a former NASA employee who was terminated for insisting that something was amiss with Spencer. Reese warns Jillian that Spencer has undergone a transformation and is no longer the person he once was. He tells her that there was a mysterious signal in space near the time of the mission's incident and believes an alien entity may have taken over Spencer's body. Jillian's investigation leads her to discover that Natalie Streck, Alex's wife, was pregnant with twins at the time of her suicide. This revelation raises alarming questions about the fate of her own twins, as Jillian is also pregnant with twins fathered by Spencer. As Jillian delves deeper into the mystery, she receives a key to a storage locker from Reese, which contains a VHS tape explaining his theory about the alien presence. In her pursuit of the truth, Jillian attempts to terminate her pregnancy, fearing that the twins might be a part of the alien's plan. However, Spencer intervenes and thwarts her efforts. Jillian's desperation intensifies as she realizes the threat posed by Spencer and the alien entity. She takes drastic measures to protect herself and her unborn children, leading to a tense and climactic confrontation with Spencer. In a chilling climax, Jillian confronts Spencer in their apartment and literally exercises the alien out of him. The film explores themes of identity, possession, and the blurred lines between reality and the supernatural. With its gradual buildup of tension and psychological intrigue, the astronaut's wife keeps the audience on edge as Jillian fights to uncover the truth and escape the clutches of a malevolent force. Thirst 2009. Thirst follows Sang Hyun, a devoted Catholic priest who volunteers for an experimental treatment to find a cure for a deadly virus called a manual virus. However, the experiment goes south, and Sang Hyun becomes infected with the virus. Surprisingly, 
He survives the infection after receiving a blood transfusion, leading people to believe that he has acquired miraculous healing abilities. Despite his newfound reputation, Sang Hyun secretly struggles with doubt and realizes that he has developed an insatiable thirst for blood. To satisfy his cravings, Sang Hyun starts stealing blood from the hospital's blood bank and unconscious patients. When his path crosses with the family of a childhood friend who is suffering from cancer, Kang Wu's mother believes that only Sang Hyun can cure her son's illness. However, his desires lead him to Kang Wu's wife, Taiju, leading to an illicit affair. Taiju becomes fascinated by the world of vampirism, and the relationship between Sang Hyun and Taiju takes increasingly dark and complex turns. As Sang Hyun's vampiric nature becomes more pronounced, he struggles to balance his conflicting identities as a priest and a vampire. The couple's guilt and paranoia increase, and a series of haunting visions and gruesome events unfold. Sang Hyun's superior at the monastery becomes suspicious of his behavior and requests vampire blood to heal his eyes, which leads Sang Hyun to flee. The film delves into themes of morality, desire, and the consequences of unchecked impulses. As Sang Hyun and Tai Ju's actions escalate, they find themselves on a violent and deadly path. When the police begin to investigate, the couple's actions become increasingly desperate. The film culminates in a climactic showdown as Sang Hyun and Tai Ju confront their inner demons and face the consequences of their choices. Thirst is a unique take on the vampire genre blending elements of horror, romance, and drama to create a captivating and unsettling story. The film challenges conventions and expectations, offering a fresh perspective on the age-old themes of love, desire, and the darkness that resides within us all. Species, 1995 Species tells the story of another government experiment gone awry after scientists receive alien DNA instructions and attempt to merge it with human DNA, resulting in the creation of a rapidly growing and dangerous alien-human hybrid named Seal, who starts as a young girl but quickly matures into an adult. Her violent tendencies and potential threat lead the government to assemble a team to track and eliminate her. As Seal escapes the lab, her accelerated growth, physical strength, and regenerative abilities makes her difficult to track. Her goal is to mate with human males and produce offspring, potentially posing a threat to humanity. The film delves into Sill's interactions with potential mates, leading to deadly encounters in a cat and mouse game with the pursuing team. Throughout the movie, the tense atmosphere and horror elements are emphasized, as the team must contend with Sill's evolving abilities and increasingly violent actions. Sill's character development is explored as well, highlighting her attempts to blend in and evade capture. The film culminates in a thrilling chase through the sewers, where the team confronts Sill and her newborn offspring. A series of intense confrontations occur, resulting in Sill's apparent demise and the survival of some team members. However, the film ends on an unsettling note, suggesting that the threat of the alien DNA persists as a rat is seen mutating after consuming a severed tentacle. Overall, the film's blend of science fiction, horror, and action elements creates a suspenseful and engaging narrative. Starman, 1984 Set in the late 1970s, Starman follows NASA's launch of a probe into space containing a message in various artifacts about Earth, including music and greetings in multiple languages. Fast forward to the early 1980s, and an alien being named Starman discovers the probe but crash lands in Wisconsin instead of Arizona. Nearby, a young widow named Jenny is mourning her husband Scott's death. In an unexpected turn of events, Starman clones a human body using a lock of Scott's hair and enters Jenny's home. Initially terrified, Jenny soon realizes that Starman means no harm and needs her help to reach his spacecraft in Arizona. As they embark on a journey to Arizona, Jenny and Starman form a unique bond of friendship and trust. Along the way, they face challenges and obstacles, including the pursuit of the U.S. government and military who want to capture Starman for study. As the authorities close in, Jenny and Starman rely on each other to evade capture and reach their destination. Starman is a departure from director John Carpenter's previous works, showcasing his ability to blend science fiction, romance, and action in a compelling and heartwarming story. The film's narrative beautifully explores the evolving relationship between Jenny and Starman as they learn from each other and experience a deep connection. Starman masterfully balances the sci-fi elements with character development and emotional resonance. The Shape of Water, 2017 This Oscar-winning film is set against the backdrop of the 1960s Cold War era that follows Elisa Esposito, a mute woman who works as a custodian at a high-security government laboratory. 
Elisa's inability to speak is compensated by her expressive sign language and her close friendships with her neighbor Giles and her co-worker Zelda. When a mysterious amphibious creature is brought to the laboratory, it is kept in a water tank and subjected to various experiments led by the ruthless Colonel Richard Strickland. Strickland sees the creature as nothing more than an asset for potential scientific advancement, showing no empathy or understanding for its intelligence or emotions. Elisa's curiosity is piqued when she discovers the creature, which she affectionately calls the asset in its tank. Despite its intimidating appearance, Elisa senses a connection with the creature, recognizing its humanity beneath the surface. As she secretly visits the creature, a bond of trust and communication forms between them, transcending language barriers. Guillermo del Toro masterfully portrays the growing relationship between Elisa and the amphibian man. Through silent gestures, Elisa shares music, boiled eggs, and even dances with the creature, allowing their connection to deepen. This unusual yet profound romance challenges conventional notions of love and companionship. As Elisa learns of Strickland's plan to dissect the creature for further study, her empathy and determination lead her to hatch a daring plan to free it. The climax of the film culminates in a tense and dramatic sequence. Strickland, realizing that Elisa and her friends are involved in the creature's escape, becomes increasingly unhinged and confronts them at the canal, where Elisa plans to release the amphibian man. Strickland's violent actions escalate the situation, resulting in a confrontation that leaves Elisa and the creature wounded. The turning point of the climax showcases the true nature of the amphibian man's abilities. As he heals himself, he also heals Elisa, reviving her from what seemed to be a fatal gunshot wound. This revelation is a powerful metaphor for the healing power of love and empathy, and it solidifies the bond between Elisa and the creature. In a poignant and visually striking final scene, the creature takes Elisa into the water, revealing her gills and transforming her into a being like himself. This transformation symbolizes their union and the acceptance of their differences, while also challenging societal norms that dictate who is deserving of love and belonging. This gripping body horror film follows the disturbing transformation of Casey after an innocuous insect bite during her bachelorette party in Costa Rica. After returning from her trip, Casey's life takes a dark turn as her body undergoes gradual and grotesque changes, and her once vibrant senses deteriorate. Nightmares haunt her, and the discovery of insect eggs in her apartment foreshadows the impending horror. Amidst her physical turmoil, Casey grapples with inner turmoil second-guessing her impending marriage to fiancé Jared Kennedy and clashing with his domineering mother. Her friend Kirsten is genuinely concerned about her well-being and attempts to offer support. However, when Kirsten stumbles upon the lifeless body of Jared's mother, her panic triggers a fatal confrontation with Casey, revealing the extent of her transformation and the horror she has become. As the plot unravels, it is revealed that Casey's friend Jill has been secretly in love with Jared. Jill's manipulation escalates when she steals Casey's engagement ring and fabricates evidence of Casey's infidelity. In a disturbing twist, it is unveiled that Casey had been sexually assaulted while incapacitated, and Jill had documented the act. The climax of the film is a chilling culmination of tensions. Casey, now a nightmarish creature, captures Jill, who is tied to a chair and subjected to a traumatic revelation of her own actions. This macabre confrontation leads to a deadly encounter that implicates Jared as well. The film does not shy away from the gruesome consequences of Casey's transformation, delivering a visceral and disturbing conclusion. As the narrative draws to a close, the horror persists. The house is placed under quarantine, and the police discover the horrifying aftermath of Casey's transformation, a trail of bodies, chaos, and insects. In the final scene, the cycle continues as two joggers discuss their upcoming trip to Costa Rica, and one of them is bitten by an insect, mirroring Casey's initial encounter. Goodbye. Wait. Life After Beth 2014. Life After Beth is a unique and offbeat romantic comedy centered around Zach Orfman, who finds himself in an unusual predicament, dating his deceased girlfriend Beth, who mysteriously comes back to life. Zach navigates the challenges of their unconventional relationship, adding a touch of wit and originality to the story. While the film maintains a serious undertone in its acting and storytelling, this juxtaposition enhances its comedic effect in a tongue-in-cheek manner. The movie delves into the complexities of Beth's resurrection and her increasing violent behavior, while Zack notices similar changes in others around town. A change encounter with a childhood friend, Erica Wexler, and confrontations with Beth's parents further intensify the chaotic situation. As the plot unfolds, Zack struggles to come to terms with the bizarre circumstances and must make difficult decisions. 
including facing Beth's transformation into a bloodthirsty zombie. The film's climax features a poignant and emotional moment between Zack and Beth before he ultimately puts an end to her rampage. The movie concludes with a glimmer of hope as the survivors seek refuge and plan their next steps. Despite the unexpected return to normalcy, the lingering impact of the events resonates. The closing scene hints at new beginnings as Zack reconnects with Erica, encapsulating the film's blend of romance, comedy, and the extraordinary. Honeymoon 2014 Honeymoon is a refreshingly surprising addition to the horror genre this year. While not groundbreaking, it skillfully avoids typical horror cliches, relying on excellent pacing and masterful direction to create a palpable sense of fear. The story revolves around newlyweds B and Paul, who retreat to a secluded Canadian forest cabin for their honeymoon. As tension builds, Bee's peculiar behavior becomes apparent. Her gradual memory loss, odd practices, and unsettling nighttime escapades raise Paul's suspicions. He discovers a gown covered in an enigmatic substance, fueling his doubts about their acquaintance, Will. A series of disturbing encounters with a similar figure, Annie, further deepens the mystery. Paul's investigation reveals alarming parallels between Annie and Bee, ultimately leading him to confront Bee's disturbing transformation. The narrative delves into body horror territory as Bee's physical and mental deterioration intensifies, revealing a shocking encounter with mysterious figures that resulted in her impregnation by a worm-like creature. Bee struggles to retain her identity or riveting, culminating in a chilling climax. Bee's decline continues, and as she reunites with Annie, the two deteriorating figures willingly step into the mysterious lights. This film offers an enthralling exploration of identity, dread, and survival, effectively blending horror and psychological tension. Though not groundbreaking, its commitment to storytelling and compelling performances make it a standout in the horror genre this year. Marvelous Verdict This subgenre has completely reinvigorated the usual horror and science fiction flicks, culminating into thicker and more emotionally absorbing story arcs. The concept in itself, as bizarre as it might be, somehow gives up a glimpse of how love can be found in the most absurd places. Some of these films also suggest how the Freudian theory on id, ego, and superego does make sense, where an individual is the victim of their own primal desire. With that being said, we have reached the end of this video. We hope our carefully curated pieces have resonated with your taste. So which of these movies would you like to give a try? Let us know in the comment box below.